Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Okay, we are going to use the elemental deck for this read along with our rider deck. We'll see what message Tarot has uh, using these guys here. I want to know what's going on in your guys' life. So Tarot, what's the collective dealing with today? Oof, we got a bunch of cards that wanted to pop out right off the top here. Water. Water represents creation. So it's like this giving birth to something new, uh, maybe a new creative idea. I, saw, I see a lot of peace and tranquility in this water card too. Uh, this might be uh, something that you're you're building on in your life, uh, sort of doing something that gives you more inner peace. It has birds as well and birds are messengers. So we might be developing our spirituality and our intuition in this stage of our life. We also have inner core. I see spirituality in this. I see developing our spirituality. I see getting grounded. And like sort of coming back into your own. We have South, which represents adventure. It might be time for a new adventure in your life. Maybe you're trying something new. Uh, maybe it's, guys, maybe it's even tarot. Maybe some of you are trying add tarot cards. Learning astrology. Learning Reiki. I feel like it's something spiritual. Uh, something that connects you with that spiritual side. Uh, it's like a new adventure. And it, but you're doing it for you. You're doing it for for your own personal well-being. And it might involve sort of part of a healing process as well for some of you guys. We do have volcanoes too. Volcanoes represents power. I mean, you think about when a volcano erupts, how it completely changes a landscape. It's like a complete... A complete change like a complete 180 in your life something is changing and it might be an event that happened that brought this change about we have animals animals represents companionship and it might be tied into this volcano and some sort of a change that's going on that involved perhaps another energy that really changed the way that you thought about life and the way that you're going through life. We also have snow and snow represents silence. See in this snow card, I do feel a sense of, of almost like loneliness or sort of being out in the cold. I don't know that this is necessarily what you're feeling now. I feel like this is something that you've been struggling with since whatever this volcanoes card uh, is speaking to, because I do feel that it's speaking to an event in your life that involved another energy. And I do feel like there was a sense of being alone. There was a sense of loneliness, a sense of being left out in the cold whenever this happened. We have the emperor in reverse. This is somebody who left your life in some way, shape or form. So not necessarily spirit. This might be part of this volcano event uh, and maybe a relationship coming to an end. And the two of pentacles, it's like balance. See, now you're seeking balance in this new chapter of your life with this, this emperor gone in some way, shape or form. You are now seeking some sort of a new balance, uh, a new way of being, a new adventure. Your spirituality is playing a big part in this, guys. And I feel like whatever this emperor, whoever he was to you, it was almost like it was something you were trying to build with him, like a life, like a wish come true, something you were wishing for in life, whether, whether it was like like married, having a family, owning a home, uh, or just somebody to settle down with, build a life with. I feel like this is who this emperor was to you. And it was like this dream that you were trying to build with this person. Not nine of swords. It's speaking to the emotional fallout of this not working out. It's speaking to, to the hurt, to the disappointment, to the grief. Because it is grieving when somebody leaves our life. Whether, whether they've passed away or they've just left the, our life. As, you know, with the heartbreak involved, there is grieving. And I feel like this has been a big part of your journey too, is grieving this, not just the loss of this person, but of what this person represented to you, of this wish, this dream that you were trying to build. Because that's really, I feel like that's really what you feel like you've lost. You've lost that dream of what you were hoping it could be. 
and it left you feeling really overwhelmed, really overburdened, perhaps even, even depressed and experiencing a lot of anxiety. We do have the moon card here. So this moon card, he can represent, uh, it can represent things that are still unknown to us, uh, things that are a secret, secrets that still have to be uncovered. This might have been part of what brought the ending about. It might have been something to do with secrets or something that had to be uncovered. This moon card could also be speaking to everything happening for a reason. And and whatever brought about this, this ending with this emperor, that this is actually a vital stage in your journey. There is something, some sort of a lesson to be learned in all of this, or this had to happen to push you into this new spiritual time in your life, which is gonna bring about uh, a change in an evolution that you might not have otherwise found without this happening, as, as crappy as it was. And we do have this Three of Cups in reverse. Again, this Three of Cups, is, it's about happiness, it's about celebration most often than not. It's like having time, having trouble, having a hard time and having trouble really, really moving forward, really coming to grips with everything that happened with, with this Emperor, right? Grieving the loss of, of this dream or this wish that you feel like it represents. We do have the Magician card. We're having to rebuild our self-esteem and all of this too. I do feel that magician card is tied to the emperor. So this hit to your self-esteem and your self-confidence is a direct result of, of the, the relationship with the emperor coming to an end. Possibly the emperor's behavior as well played a big part in it. And it might have to do with secrets. Uh, sometimes the three of cups represents a third party. And for some of you, this might be true. For some of you, this might not be true. It might just represent a feeling like you've lost that wish. You've lost that chance to celebrate. It might have even been an engagement that got broken as well. And it's like now we're learning though. Because this is what this Eight of Pentacles represents. He's the Apprentice card. He's about hard work. He's about learning. And this is this rebuilding period. This building yourself back up. And the Knight of Pentacles. So this Knight of Pentacles, he can represent somebody who's steady, somebody who's steadfast, who you can count on. Uh, he can also speak of, of something you've been working towards for a long time finally coming to fruition. I do feel like he's speaking to a perseverance and that this healing journey that you're going through is not going to be easy and it might take a while. I also feel like he's speaking to this, this new path and spirituality that you're taking and that you're growing and developing and that it may also take a while uh to to evolve within it but he's encouraging you saying that you will find success along the way the ace of cups is a new beginning it's like a chance for a new beginning a chance for healing this judgment card it does represent karma and getting back what you put out into the world. So being able to move forward in a healing way, being able to delve into your, into your spirituality and embrace it, being able to move forward from these hurts from the past. It's gonna get you more positive results. It's gonna bring positive things into you guys. The tower card. See, and, and it's like the emotions are still fresh from it too. Or we're getting pulled back into them every so often, which is what happens when you're healing from some sort of a heartbreak. Uh, it's not just like, uh, uh, now we're just getting better and we're going to keep getting better every single day. Is that we're still going to have days where the emotions are raw again. And days when we, when we feel rough. And it sort of, sort of brings it back home again too. We have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of struggling with emotion. There's a lot of healing that's still happening. I feel like it's already begun. The process has already begun, uh, but it's still, it, it's not finished. We're not finished yet. There's still more left to do. And the Queen of Pentacles. And it's like rebuilding. Rebuilding, nurturing a new life. Nurturing a new stage in your life. And it's, it's fragile, whatever it is. It's very new. 
Maybe it's only just begun for some of you. I'm, and it's really taking a lot of extra energy to nurture it. I want to know about this, this emperor too and what happened with this emperor. We're moving, we're moving to better times. So whatever this is, we are making progress. We are moving to something more positive. We're finding our path. This is important too. Finding your path in life. And there were, okay, so the moon card does speak of lies that had to be uncovered. Secrets that had to be uncovered that did have to do with that emperor. Because that's what that five of swords is all about. And justice being blocked. And this is why karma might be being blocked too. Uh, this person might not have had karma. They might not have had karma come back at them yet. And that might be part of why this, this Queen of Cups energy... Your energy is struggling to move forward, is struggling to heal. Because she hasn't had justice. You guys haven't had that justice come around with. This person still hasn't paid up for their hurts. And the Knight of Cups. It's like that emotional victory, that satisfaction of having somebody have to pay for what they did. To have the scales come into balance and be evened out. I feel like that is missing. I feel like that piece of you, of your story is missing. Now, whether it, it comes about in the future, I'm not entirely sure with the cards, but at this point in time, it hasn't happened. And this is part of what's making it really hard to move on and move forward because you feel like like this person has hurt you and like they just keep moving on with life like it doesn't matter, like they haven't paid for it. And you're like waiting for news. Maybe waiting for news about justice. Maybe waiting for some justice to come around. It might be something that you're still working towards. Maybe something is going through the court system and you're waiting to hear about it. It's like we're waiting. We're waiting for a message to come. We're waiting to receive a message. Because right now we're going through a rough time and we're feeling like we got left out in the cold. And that's what's being reflected in this Five of Pentacles too. The Page of Wands. Waiting for news. You're still waiting for news. And it might even have to do with finances too, guys. And it might be tied into to justice, the court system, and this emperor. But we are waiting for news. And the lover's card. So I feel like it was a romantic connection. And that's what the lover's card is representing. For some of you, I feel like it ties back to that three of cups in reverse. And it's speaking to a possible third party being involved. And that was why the relationship came to an end. Uh, but others, I feel like it's just speaking to this was a romantic relationship that came to an end. And then we have the five of wands, so we're still fighting. So that's why it's here. It's because uh, there hasn't been this finality. There hasn't been this judgment. Uh, there hasn't been karma or justice yet. So in some aspect, things are still a little bit in the air. Uh, things still haven't been finished but I feel like in the meantime, you're leaning on your spirituality and working towards growing your spirituality in this new chapter of your life. This is going to be part of your new adventure forward. It's going to be part of your rebuilding, this growing your intuition. Like I said, perhaps you're, you're learning tarot, you're learning Reiki, you're learning astrology. You are delving into your spirituality in this new chapter. You are creating and you are growing within it. But it's, and it, it is part of your healing too, but it's, we're still holding back some and it's because there's other elements that have to come into play. Things that you have no control over, like that justice, that is going to play out in the time it takes for it to play out. And there's like nothing you can do to change that. That is sort of out of your hands. But when that piece comes into play, it'll be easier for you to move forward. But I do see just keep leaning on your faith, keep leaning on your spirituality, keep building in that way and trying to stay positive and rebuild. This this will come to an end. This justice, this five of wands, this will eventually come to an end and there eventually will be some clarity and there eventually will be some finality so that you can truly move forward. Alrighty guys, I hope that you enjoyed the read. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. Take care everyone.